So I'll just go ahead and select this. I'll just control C. I'll copy it over here and I'll paste it and I'll hit enter. So what I'm doing in short is that I'm creating a fake URL with uh, my IP address in that and I'll type yes and I'll hit enter. Apache is started. Perfect. Everything's running. So I'll just go ahead and see my files over here. Uh, we have var www perfect so we have these two files uh, this is the file which we have created which the Kali Linux have created and these are the new files it's 518 I'll delete this one this is the old one perfect and I'll just go ahead and open our target computer let's assume okay I don't want this anymore let's assume this is our target computer I'll just open the email ID and so what we would be doing is that we need to send this specific email uh, this specific uh, let me open that we need to send this specific uh, IP address to our uh, person whom we want to attack so what I would normally do is I'll just go ahead and open GEDIT let's say if I have installed that perfect and I'll type let's say dear user whatever the name of the person would be and I'll just go ahead and write let's say due to the um, let's say excess due to I'll just run and type recent excess of people creating accounts on Gmail due to recent excess of people creating accounts on Gmail the traffic is slowed down and Gmail has become a bit slow so in order to restore the original make sure you don't do any spelling mistake because the person who's reading it may be able to identify that this is just a phishing scam so in order to restore the original feed we need you to access your gmail through our secure server else any unused email accounts will be deactivated in next 24 to 48 hours sincerely gmail desktop support and happy emailing that's how they write i believe and some random xyz number plus three through and some random number perfect so this is how it looks like I believe so uh, due to recent excess of people creating accounts in Gmail the traffic is slowed down and Gmail has become a bit slow so in order to restore the original speed we need you to access your Gmail through our secure server else any unused email accounts will be deactivated uh, in the next 24 to 48 hours the reason being we are discarding unnecessary email accounts from our server so once you go and send some kind of a thing like this to a specific party uh, the normal normally the people would go ahead and actually be afraid to go ahead and lose their gmail account and they would access that and finally you need to go ahead and type the address so our address was i believe 192.168 and 30 just copy it and paste it over here perfect and I'll just go ahead and send this to our person who, whoever we want to attack and once we send it uh, hopefully uh, the person will click on this link so when as soon as he clicks on this link a new page will be opened of something like this just let me check if that's working perfect so he will not even come to know that this is a fake account because this does not look like fake and he will assume this being a gmail server so what he would do he would straight away go ahead and try to access his account 
So uh, let me just uh, create use a random ID. So I'll just type random dumb person at gmail.com and uh, this is not a real account I'm just uh, creating a random one using a random ID and I'll tell like let's say ECD Android one two three four and I'll hit enter uh, yes I want to remember the passwords so nothing happened uh, if he, if I had a actual one then I would have actually been redirected to the original web page as you can see I am back to the original web page over here so the user will not even think about let's say that this is a fake account and I'll just close this one and uh, yeah, what you could see over here that I uh, as soon as he enters even one time I will already have his username and password over here in the harvester txt files I'll click open here over here and you can see we have the uh, password over here random dumb person and let's say if he tries to access that once more and if he tries to access it's another email I'll just run Okay, and let's say if I go ahead and create another dumb person two at gmail.com and I'll use uh, XYZ Android one two three and I'll hit enter now again uh, this is a fake uh, this is a fake email ID so as you can see if I go ahead and close this I'll just go ahead and open this again you can see over here that I have the another one as well, dumbperson2 at gmail.com xyz at thread123. So as many times as he goes out and enters this thing here, we will have all the username and password that we need. So that's it for this tutorial. That's how we can go ahead and create uh, phishing websites and we can send this to our people. And in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you more about social engineering techniques. And yeah, that's it for this tutorial, guys.